This tutorial is the second part of a five-part tutorial series to teach you how to get your WordPress site listed on the internet as well as uh, get it listed nicely. Now, it will, in this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a Google Analytics account and integrate it with your WordPress site. First, go to google.com. And then click on Analytics. It should show up as the first result. Click on this. <coughs> Access. If you haven't signed up, you should. Now, let me create a new uh, profile. To do so, click Add New Account. Click Sign Up. And then the URL of my website. Here. Paste it. Uh huh. Ship it to Singapore. Ship it somewhere over here. Yes. Click continue, invalid input. Oh, sorry. Remove this and click continue. At tracking at, uh, okay. Country or territory, Singapore, and continue. Yes, I agree to the above terms and conditions. Now, for this script, copy. We'll go back to this view over here, which you can access via, if you click Appearance and click on Editor. Uh, let's, let me just do it and show you from scratch again. And you should go to your file called Footer. Go all the way to the bottom. You see this thing called the body tag. Now, Copy the tracking code and then paste it over here. Oh, sorry. Like this. Uh huh. You see? And once you're done, update file. If you go to the front end and do a refresh, And then you cl click on Control U. In my case, if uh, you're using a Chrome browser, it will show up over here. And save and finish. Demo status tracking unknown. Nothing has happened for this particular profile yet. Hmm. So. You're done with the integration part. Next, let me uh, explain to you why is this step necessary, as well as the step for I. Why is this step necessary? To do so, I'll you use a live and active account, things to do Singapore.com which has an average of around like 800 plus visitors per day and sometimes over like 1,000 visitors. After the first week, your site should show some statistics. Mm. What you should do is to click on Traffic Sources Overview and click on the Keywords Full Report. It will show you the various keywords that people are using to come to your site. Okay and yes how long they stay on the average on your site in this case my keyword is very my site is well very well optimized for this keyword things to do in singapore which i'm getting like uh, 300 over visitors over the past uh, one month and uh, what to do in singapore things to do singapore taipu sam and uh, rocky horror picture show are recent uh, happenings in Singapore that a lot of people are searching for. 
SAJC Open House has been quite popular amongst uh, students last week. And uh, yeah, all your traffic sources, if you know where they're, where they're coming from. And I'm getting quite a lot of traffic from Google. Now that you understand this, this is where you get your first set of keywords. If you have data, if not, then you should go to the Google External Keyword Tools to do some research. Go to google.com now. External Keyword Tools. And click on this link. Alright. In your case, you'll be typing real estate Singapore. Voila. And do a search. Hmm. Yeah, apparently, we did hit a jackpot with real estate Singapore. Monthly search volume of 29,000 in Singapore and globally 22,000. Singapore real estate, the same. Singapore real estate for sale, hmm, not as much. Real estate in Singapore, wow. Look, competition level is quite low for this set of keywords. And the traffic volume is there. Uh, this one, not really good. Competition is quite high. Singapore real estate market. Competition is low, but there's a niche if you can cater to it. Mm, yeah, just look for the ones with like relatively low competition levels, right? And remember the URL. No, 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 the keywords. Singapore expats. Hmm. Not much competed for, but people are actually like using this keyword, particular keyword to. Uh, if you actually like try to position for this, you actually rank quite well. Now, let's just uh, take this copy. We found the particular keyword we want from the Google External Keyword Tools research. Let's go and create a post at new. Singapore Real Estate or Real Estate Singapore should appear once in the title and Three times in the content section, once as a subheader. Uh huh. So now we only have like four keywords in the content section. How to actually create a subheader? Click on HTML. It's two. Right now, it is your job to create an article with, oh, sorry, let's see, let me just remove this, huh? yeah, with three of these keywords in the articles and ones appearing like that. Like da -da 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 When you're done, just publish. Okay, so you have created your first article that's published and positioned to take advantage of this particular niche okay. identified in the uh, by Google that's not really competed for with a good traffic volume coming in on a monthly basis. Give it one to two weeks and Google, if your article is actually done properly, right? Google will index this particular article. If you post <coughs> this particular article in their Google search results. Hmm. So we are done with this and that. As well as this. 
Now let's talk a little about refining the site. What do I mean by refining the site? Brings us to this particular page. Traffic sources, all traffic sources. Oh no, keywords. Keywords. Refining the site. When I mean refining the site, I mean looking for niches that are not occupied <coughs> or not served well by your site currently, but people are actually coming to your site via these keywords. So uh, in the case of uh, things to do Singapore.com, right? People are coming to the site searching for Chingay 2011, but they're not really staying that long, which means that this site doesn't actually have information about Chingay 2011 schedule. So if we could create an article pertaining to this and write a comprehensive one, next time someone comes, right, they would stay longer. And this would actually boost your traffic ranking as well. Periodically check this table to see what kind of new keywords actually popped up in the list and how well they are served. S search for the ones that are not served well and create articles like what I did just now to serve this particular key uh, segment that just grew. And if you do this over a period of uh, four months, you'll start seeing significant results on your Google uh, as like on your website. Mm. Okay, done. I, I guess it's just like what two part video after all. Huh? <laughs>